There are two guarantees when kids head back to school. Homework, of course, and plenty of time fighting off those illnesses. Joining me now to talk about what parents need to keep in mind for the start of the school year, Dr. Norena Ocampo, with a pediatrician with West Boca Medical Center. Thank you so much for being here. I've interviewed you for a couple of stories before. Nice to have you in studio. Let's talk about something a lot of people may not think about, backpack safety. Those backpacks can get so heavy. They can, and children really need to learn how to wear them properly. Backpacks have two straps. They need to put it over both shoulders, okay. distribute the weight evenly so they don't injure their backs. And for kids who really can't handle it, we have the option of rolling backpacks. That's true, but you always mm -hmm. want to do that like one arm sling, so it's kind of cooler kind of thing. Not, Not good. good. <laughs> Not good. Um, let's talk about healthy eating as well. We know the importance of a healthy breakfast, but there's also those healthy snacks, packing lunches. Any tips for parents out there? Well, breakfast is definitely important. It just mm -hmm. gives them energy to start the morning and to start the day. But for those kids who just truly can't eat breakfast, parents can also pack ha healthy snacks, granola protein bars, sure. sliced fruit, crackers with peanut butter, and then continue that on with the healthy lunches just to keep them going throughout the day. And so mm -hmm. kids these days, they're so active. There's so many things going on. I, I don't envy parents out there. It's, it's homework, it's practice, it's here, there, but getting enough sleep. Can you talk about how much sleep kids should be getting? Elementary, middle school, junior high? Kids should be getting anywhere from nine to ten hours of sleep oh, every night. That it, sounds amazing. I know. <laughs> and, uh, and some can survive on less sleep, but okay. some kids need more. But they really also need to start adjusting the sleep schedule now. School starts on Monday, and they really need to start getting to bed earlier so they can wake up early and feel re refreshed for school. And I feel like mm -hmm. teachers and kids, once you get back to school, you're around all those germs again, getting sick. Is there anything we can do preventative-wise to avoid getting sick? Hand washing is the best thing. Mm -hmm. Even though some viruses are spread through the air respiratory wise, mm -hmm. kids touch everything. They touch surfaces of things after someone sneezes. They put their hands to their mouth. Now they've just caught the virus. So hand washing, carrying wipes or little Purell sanitizers, that would be great. I know my husband's mm -hmm. a teacher and they have hand sanitizers everywhere you mm -hmm. look. So I guess that's just part of it. Flu shot, advice for parents about the flu shot? Everyone really needs to get the flu shot. It is the best prevention for getting the flu. Right, sounds mm -hmm. good. Dr. Campbell. thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And I'm sure you'll be gearing up. You'll be busy as kids head back <laughs> yes. to school probably already right already. now as, as kids are getting those shots. All right, thanks for joining us. We really Thank appreciate you.